Hello everyone, it's Erica Friedman, and this is not an official Yuri Studio video, but there's something I wanted to talk to you about today, and I couldn't wait to talk about it. So, video. Today, I want to talk to you about three books that if you are a fan of Revolutionary Girl Utena, I think you will really enjoy. Uh, and all three of them have been banging at my head, and I wanted to tell you all about them. The first book is Silk and Steel. It's an anthology. It's an ebook available on Kindle. It's an excellent book about women and fighting and action and lesbian romance and complicated relationships and surreal concepts. And if you're a fan of Utena, the story that's going to stand out for you is Elliot de Bedard's uh, The Scholar of the Bamboo Flutes. You are not going to have a hard time recognizing the uh, the roots uh, uh, as based in Utana, and I think you'll really, really enjoy it. It's available as an ebook on Kindle, and I don't think you'll be sorry you read it. I think it's full of really great stuff. The second book I want to tell you about is a total self promotion moment. I wrote a book that began as an Utana fanfic, started in about 20 years ago. Uh, it has now become a completely different thing. It is a cyberpunk novella called ACI Net Case Files and Inside Job. And right now for the holiday season 2021, it's available for $1.99. If you're watching this video and it's 2022, don't worry, it's only $2.99, not on sale. So it's not like you're losing a lot. Um, I think you're going to enjoy it. I don't think you'll notice too many Utena references left. I've left two in consciously and maybe some unconsciously, but if you see more than those two, let me know, because I'd like to know what I left in. Uh, it's a pretty good book, and I'm really happy with it as an original novella, and it's cheap, and you might as well give it a try for the holiday season, something easy read. The third book is the reason I'm making this video. Ada Palmer has a series called Terra Ignota. It's a four novel quadrilogy. The final book in the series came out called Perhaps the Stars. And as I was reading it, I commented on Twitter that every time I saw the word Togenkyo, I heard Zetai Unmei Mokushiroku in my head, and I knew that was intentional. I posted that on Twitter and got this response. So it's not a direct relationship. Uh, Palmer's work is informed by a lot of anime, Gundam, Tezuka, Utena. She definitely comments about those three all the time. But I think if the surrealism and the art and the literary references and the, the depth of background that are held in Utana interest you, I think you will really, really enjoy this series. It is a commitment though. I can't say read book four without reading books one through three and they are not small books but they are worth every single t moment of time you spend with them. So, to reiterate, if you like Revolutionary Girl Utena, I highly recommend Silk and Steel Anthology, ACI Net, yes, I know, it's self-promotion, you get it anyway, um, and Ada Palmer's Terra Ignota series, and I hope you will read those and tell me how much you like them in the comments, and I'll see you later on Yuri Studio.